I was first diagnosed, uh, it is very, very difficult. It's an un unprecedented turn uh, that I, I find it very, very difficult. And I, and I, you know, uh, take one step at a time. And I should say I'm very lucky because I have a very good doctor. Uh, very like there's a lot of personal touch there. So I have gone through a lot. Yeah. So uh, as of today, it's about ten and a half years. A lot of women out there, yeah, they, uh, they would feel the same like what I feel. So um, I had my breast removed and uh, my what do you call uh, treatment done. Uh, and uh, my journey is a bit long. This time my doctor decided to did a total abdominal hysterectomy. Uh, I was really down to 37 kilo. Yeah, to be precise, that is 37.5 kilo. So I completed the treatment again and in 2012, Another turn, uh, I was sent to do my PET scan in Saim Dhabi and the doctor called me up again, says I don't have a good news and uh, I had these uh, bone mats uh, on the 5th, 6th and 7th ribs. I managed to pull it out within a few months and, uh, and I understand that mostly women who is diagnosed with breast cancer, uh, majority will slip into depression and that is why we don't allow that if possible. Our team, uh, especially me, it is very dear and near to my heart and uh, because I've experienced that, I will attend to them immediately. Basically, uh, breast cancer is very, very common these days. Uh, but sadly, again, it is uh, the number one killer among women worldwide. So, our our duty uh, in Kinabalu Pink Ribbon is to raise awareness and to fight against breast cancer. Cancer of uh, breast is different from other cancers because women. Uh, tend to isolate themselves. Just five minutes of your time can really save your life. So go for regular medical checkup, uh, especially like women. Once you touch 40, uh, it is always encouraged to go for mammogram and. Uh, uh, regular medical checkup is very very important. Yeah, uh, and early detection is uh, crucial uh, because it's not only save your life, but uh, when uh, early detection is detected, uh, I mean the journey will be a bit uh, lesser, and uh, and it is not too expensive. call it as our signature run because we only raise fund uh, in the month of October and October happens to be uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month globally. So um, this year our slogan is hope. To me hope is the most uh, a powerful word in English dictionary. Uh, that's what I feel because when you have hope you have your future. So I always tell uh, that newly diagnosed patient and survivors to always have hope. Yeah. As for the newly diagnosed, I'm always there for them. As I said, this cause is very dear and near to my heart. And uh, I've gone through the journey myself and I know how difficult it is. So support is very important. So being in this uh, journey 
and I bounce back. You see, so uh, there is nothing uh, impossible. Uh, change is I I feel that you have to change yourself, accept and move on. So all in. Until today, I have six times, I did six times uh, PET scan, uh, 35 times of uh, radiotherapy, and a uh, dozen times of uh, chemotherapy. Yeah. And, and I would say, you know, you just follow your doctor's instruction and you can still live life fabulously.